Yo, what is up, guys? Today, I will be showing you how to make crankshafts. Now, this is huge because it will make you a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money. So, to make crankshafts, we need steel. And you're like, you may be like, how do we make steel? Well, I'll show you in this video too. So we will need a blast furnace wherever. Like, like this. Just place it down like that. And then we will go into recipes and see coal plus iron ingot makes steel ingot. But we can make steel ingot faster by making coal plus iron mix and it'll make six every five seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're gonna make iron mix which is like iron grinded I'm pretty sure and then we can do it a fast way, coke fuel, but that requires a tree farm that's going to take a little more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to first actually remove that and then get ourselves, this might seem crazy, but we're going to need 15 coal drills so we'll, or we could just do 16 coal drills all right I'm back I was just messing with my Wi-Fi because it was down so we will need 16 coal drills so eight on each side like this That is 16. And then we will need a couple grinders. A couple grinders. A grinder right here. We'll put them over here. We'll put. We'll put six grinders. And then. We'll get this medium silo and then we will connect these with pipes fix the pipelining and then connect these with power Also connect the grinders with power too. Connect all of these. Like that. And then we'll get raw iron. And then we will go into grinder here, check out. Wait, so we'll actually need iron ingots, iron powder, uh, no we don't actually, we can just grab the raw iron, forget what I just said, so we have our raw iron, 46, we will connect these with pipelining first, like this, Fix any mistakes. And then we can connect the raw iron silo to the grinders. The grinders will start getting 
raw iron. Yep. And then it'll be making iron iron powder, pretty sure. We can check the recipe here. We'll make iron powder. See iron powder? And then we will just put a line of these tiny silos down and delete the ones that's not connected to anything. So, connect these. And then connect all of them this way. Like that. And we'll be getting iron powder here. And then we can finally um, put down a blast furnace I was talking about. Blast furnace right here. This does require 5 MMS, which is kind of a lot of power. But it's no, no biggie. We will connect these with the pipeline, and then we will have to add some coal. How much coal? So I recommend putting down. Eight coal drills. Uh, you can do six, cause a little less pollution. And fix any mistakes in the pipeline. Then connect these with some power. And then we'll, we will be getting iron mix once our coal goes in. Iron powder. We'll check up on our raw iron. Going into the grinder. Then we should be getting iron mix. Store this in a medium storage silo. Iron mix right here. And then we can pull out another blast furnace. Check the recipe. Coal plus iron mix is equal steel, which is awesome. If you guys want to do coke fuel too, that's fine, but you have to make a tree farm and stuff. Right now, I'll focus on the more simple stuff. So we can add another blast furnace here. Iron mix. Connect this. And then put coal here, around the same amount of coal drills. This is six. And then you can connect all of these coal drills to the blast furnace and then power them and then your iron mix 
it. We're going to here. And I will be making steel ingots. Finally. Let's go. We can put these in the medium storage silo too. Because we won't be messing with them for a little while. So now the part for making crankshafts. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We will get press, we will check recipes, steel plate, then a roller mixed gear. So we will put a press power oh, right here. Another one right there. We will put five presses. And then delete the two in the middle. And then replace those with rollers like that. And then for the presses that are still here, I'm gonna put rollers in front of them like that. So then we will put steel in here and make plates. These will roll plates in the gears. This will make steel rods. That, yeah. I need to put one more roller right here. Steel rods, gears, steel rods, gears, steel rods, gears. And then we will need a craft assembly. We will need. Two craft assemblers. Angled the exact same, like that. And then, do not connect the steel yet, but we will connect all the pipes like this. Follow me like this. Then connect these with power. Like this. And these gears go there. Alright, my bad, we need three craft assemblers actually. steel rods right there make sure to remove that so they don't connect and combine our gears will go there our rods will go there just kind of repeat the process for both of them also, when they connect here, I would recommend putting a junction like that so they don't connect. I didn't do that here, but you can do that right there if you want. And then, just connect these. And once they're all done connecting them, check on pipelining, make sure nothing's messed up. I mean, still we have 348. That's a lot. Make sure there's no mistakes in your pipelining. 
and then put a pipe turn like these for each one. And then you want to get your pipe section. Open this. See how these go like that? You want to connect that right there. So your steel ingots will go that way and that way. So then we will connect that like that. And then it will be making our crankshafts. Steel rod. Steel plates. It is a little slow, but it'll start working. We go here, see how long it'll take. It'll take 17 seconds to make one crankshaft. 17 divided 3. I don't know that. Uh, so 17 divided 3 is 5.6, so you'll get a crankshaft every 5.6 seconds. Hopefully. And our gears will go here. Oh, I forgot, you will need to power these. And these will be making your crankshafts. Then you can sell these, each crankshaft is like 700, which is crazy. Connect these to a truck or van or a semi if you want. And then two crankshafts right there. We are making crankshafts, so that's good. And then we will connect the pipes right here. Make sure you didn't mess up here. And then you can put this into a truck you want. Okay, I messed up. Chill out. I'm not trying to delete all my crankshafts. We will need a section for the right there. And our crankshafts we can sell. 10 crankshafts. 10 crankshafts sell for 8,060, which is pretty good, pretty good. You can put these into a van. It'll make a little more money. Put these into a van. See, these are filling up fairly quickly. So that's, that's nice. And then you are done with your crankshaft setup pretty simple pretty fast you can make it bigger and stuff there are tutorials on YouTube for that but you are getting your crankshafts pretty frequently so that's that's good that's good and these do a pretty good supply of gears and rods so our pipe lining is good it's not messed up or nothing so that is the tutorial. Pretty quick tutorial, but it was for some crankshafts. And if you like this video, go subscribe, like, and thank you for watching.